right here with one of the top DJs right here in the country, gospel DJ, Ken the DJ. Karibu sana. Mambo vipi? Kwa sana. Mko fresh? Aha, asante sana. Na kama vizuri. Asante sana, asante sana. Ni Mungu. Ni kawaida. Ni Mungu. Was dressed you maybe you can tell us? Ah, in image dress. Eh lilienda kikomba. Mwanga. Nikapata suti mzuri nikasema leta hiyo. Nikapata tie mzuri nikasema leta hiyo. Yes, mimi ndio mtu dress. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tarudi hapo hivyo sababu niko na swali. But anyway, uh Ken unaweza tuambia maybe yeah. uh, of course you run on the invited guest right. Unaweza tuambia right. maybe a little bit on although unajua show haijaanza but tell us a little bit about the award. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh Kibali awards mm-hmm. nime invite you. Uh-huh. It's a new uh you know awards uh uh that's a same system mm-hmm. ama kitu kama hiyo. And uh, it's a fresh breath because kulikuwa na awards earlier on but ilienda ikapotea so sasa hii merudi and one thing about awards ni hiyo pati ya mtu motivation once umeshinda award inapatia mtu motivation ya kuendelea and so when i see this happening i'm really happy that kuna wasanii watakuwa nominated kuna madj watakuwa nominated kuna mashows zitakuwa nominated and one thing with the award inafanyanga mse apate bd apate hiyo nini uh, you know the energy ya kuendelea kitu anafanya so i'm really happy about these awards uh, watu wapya watakuwa kupale kwa nominations and so najua watakuwa itakuwa kitu maana sana yeah and maybe can uh, tungependa kujua is it a purely gospel award thing yes it is it is it is a, it, I, I, i believe it is a gospel awards uh, you know mm-hmm. uh, if, if, if everything even the nominations ko pale uh-huh. ni fully gospel mm-hmm. yes no of course talking of gospel kitambo uh, we used to have it so much we had the groove awards yeah. kama hizo yeah. are you guys uh, or do you rather think it's like a comeback to revive or yes. rather to at least bring the gospel industry back to where it was there? exactly mm-hmm. exactly as I, as as i stated up mbele yeah. uh, kulikuwa na groove awards uh, beleni kulikuwa na nyingine inaitwa pia mwafaka mwafaka awards uh, but ilienda ikapotea but then uh, now kibali imekam so as I've, as I've said kibali itakam bring a fresh breath because hiyo time ya groove awards there some of the artists when walikuwa kwa walikuwa kwa ministry saya wako and so sai kuna fresh breath ya wasani DJs shows and so for them wakipatiwa wakipatiwa mtu akishinda award ito wa motivate kwenye like to do mimi she shinda award na najua kile nilifanyia so for 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 someone else akishinda for this kibali award najua itam itamskuma kwa mtu maana sana yes alafu kitambo mm. we used to see that gospel used to be played a lot kwa airways okay. wewe kama dj why yeah. do you think squeezy haiko as much as kitambo uh what i think ni you know mimi na believe na believe uh, in a uh, you know kila kitu kuna seasons eh? Eh, season hata kwa ministry kuna season kuna season watu watafurahia kuna season ya, ya, ya kulia kuna season tu vitu zimesimama and so i believe that in the hata uh, hata kwetu kuna time god alikuwa anataka ku make a statement mahali and ilikuwa wave unaweza kumbuka kila mahali gospel ilikuwa yeah. inachezwa kwa clubs nini i'm not saying that that bado sasa hii hiyo kitu god agenda anataka haita i happen ina happen but i believe that uh, bado gospel imeanza kuamka watu wanaipata and so uh, in a, in a, to the head ukiona okay, vitu kama hizi kibali zinarudi uh, muziki zinarudi wasanii wapi wanakuja wana, wana, wana watu wana appreciate it's something that naweza sema tunaenda place poor uh-huh. yeah alafu uko na mpoa Ah uh, sina mpoa. Una mpoa? Sina mpoa. Mbona 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 plan nini? Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, rather maybe uh kidogo tu tukitoka hapo hey, even yeah. uh, maybe we get a return into the gospel industry. Yeah. Of course your story is out here of how you found yourself in the DJing yeah. and the uh, gospel industry. But right. ningependa kujua with the whole debate about the gospel industry what mm. are some of the challenges umepitia as a DJ? Okay. Cuz I know sometimes uh mnakwanga mm. mnarushi wa mawe kwamba yeah. maybe nyinyi ndio umefanya gospel karudi chini and things yeah. like that. Yeah. What are some of the challenges main challenges umepitia kama DJ? Uh, I mean uh, ukikuwa na na big platform uh, kuna challenges uh, you know uh, unapata I'll be very honest eh ukikuwa pale juu uh, kuna femi na kam doi na kam malemo na kam and so if you're not very careful hizo vitu zinaweza ingia zinaweza ingia into your head 
uanze kuona wewe ni wewe ni msembigi hakuna msana anataka kushoeni uh, nikitaka interviews kaa nyinyi mnaniwaambia manze unafa kubuka appointment manze yeah. mimi sitapangi interview vitu kaya hizo and so uh, 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 i mean hizo challenges unasema wasona warusha mawe but you know you keep focused na ile kitu god amekuita udu uh, femi na kama unajua ukifika pale hauwezi jua kama imeingia yeah. utapata tu manze unaanza ku receive your places then us for receive your place vile kama celeb una feel kama ah so waja ku waja ku recognize vizuri but kitu kitu tu yenye imenisaidia ni ni kuweka gold mbele na kuwa na mentors wenye wamekuwa kwa hii game before mimi nilikuwa mentor na DJ Koba amenisaidia sana kwa hii safari and so those are some of the challenges zina zina come fame madame do watu kwa rushia uh, you know hizo uh, malawama watu wasipo make it but then it's not about you uh, it's not you that you are making that thing happen eh ni hizo tu uh, speculations about what people are thinking uko nje but uh, for me naweza sema god amenishikilia sana uh-huh. yeah alafu ni qualifications gani yeah. zenye ngoma inafaa kuwa nayo ndio wewe ucheze right for me it's very simple uh, quality of music uh, audio video lazima zikuwe juu and sisi sasa kama ni gospel lazima tusikie message unaimba nini message yako ni scriptural ama tu umeimba because uh, unataka kuimba gospel because kuna watu huimba out of scripture so for me ni, ni quality ya mziki kwa fiti both audio na video uh, msanii aimbe fiti unajua pia wasanii wa chapiti hizi eh, wasanii tu because gospel unapata mtu anasema neme inatosha so mtu anaingia tu studio because ana feel like god amemwambia <laughs> I want be owner za imba so anaingia tu studio anaanza kuimba so ajali about the craft so kama msanii anaimba fiti production iko fiti message iko poa tick maybe on that on the quality of uh, audio and uh, messaging in yeah. uh, any song yeah. maybe you can make a statement on uh, kuna wimbo ambao ulitolewa i think a month ago okay na msanii anasema yeye ni wa gospel okay. anaitwa embarambamba okay anasema <laughs> anataka anataka kunyonywa dhambi uh-huh. na pia, i don't know uh, <laughs> vitu kama hizo do you feel like they are bringing down the gospel industry okay so so kama sasa nimekwambia message is very important so mimi nikiget song kama hiyo nitasikia umsa na imani so first of all uh, message kama hiyo kunyonywa sijui kunini when sasa the first impression hata the first thing umesikia na hiyo ngoma already sha ku throw off So for me says this is a normal guy eh, because kama we mwenyewe ushaifeel hivyo na, na 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 you know na umefeel kitu mbaya siwezi kukuchezea and so i mean watu tu wako serious eh hizi eh, vitu za kiki za kusukuma mziki i mean gospel i i they're not necessary eh wewe imba tu imbo poa imba message fit message itasukuma watu wanaimba kuna kuna boy fulani mpya amekaa ama anaitwa Sami G yeah. I, don't, i don't know if kama mnamjua eh boy anaimba fit manze na watu wamemkubali aja tumia kiki aja tumia anything so watu tu manze watu waimbe the real gospel uh-huh. eh yeah. pengine niko na swali kidogo yeah. tu umesema you are single bado una mpoa yes. maybe kuna for the sake of madem wenye wako pale nje yeah. makrashi ni nini yeah. anapenda kujua some of the qualities <laughs> yenye uko nazo yenye una you will prefer maybe kuangalie kwa dem au kwa kwa mpoa wako some of the qualities eh mnani yako on the spot manze ambia madem pale wana Eh yeah, madam msijali ka ka wewe ni type yangu da ingia DM type yako ni gani Sema sasa tuambie no secret hiyo eh wewe ki ni just tu da ingia DM ukiingia DM da ingia ni kwambie manzee ni aje ah mimi by the way sina sina nini big god akiniambia ni wewe ama ni wewe leo ni hivyo tunaishi eh mi mi kwangu ni hivyo i don't i don't really look at you know vitu mob sana so so god akiniambia ni wewe ama ni wewe leo ah mimi nakamnaingia dm na na tunabonga na inaingia boss 